Once again, if you haven't done the first one, do the first one. We'll explain it a bit better. Right, off we go. It's a plus. So, our little demon, he goes to a favourite supermarket. Are there any reductions he can make his vouchers? No, none. He has a quick look round, see if his neighbour's there. Remember the dog food? Anything obvious going on here? No. He meets his uh, school buddy's uh, little baby. And to entertain the baby, he finds a hole in his top and goes, whoop. He just through the hole, so we do the whole numbers. So we've got eight uh, pizzas plus three pizzas, which is 11 pizzas. And then we've also got this five sixths, this one here. And we've got this eight ninths. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up all of these bits into the same size bits and then that's easier to add up. So we find a, um, what happens? Um, what did happen there? He saw his mate, didn't he? And, oh yes, he saw his neighbour with the dog poo. <laughs> um, because it's just awkward. And I mean, that's not an appropriate response, is it? Uh, but anyway, they do get chatting and then they have to find something they've got in common, which is the dog, a common denominator. So what number will both six and nine go into? 18, well done. So it's 11 over 18 over 18. Multiply the bottom by two, multiply the top by two. Multiply the bottom by three, multiply the top by three. That'll get 30. No, what have I done? Yes, you should have shouted louder. Can I just check this one? Um, multiply the bottom by two, multiply the top by two. They're called denominators, the bottom numbers. That's why we've got a demon, because demons come from down below. Multiply the top by three, multiply the top by... Multiply the bottom by three, multiply the top by three, which is, come on, shout louder. Thank you. 15. Now let's tidy up a bit. Ooh. That's what's happened. So we found our common denominator and we just shove everything into the trolley. So let's ram these together. So that would be 11 and 31 eighteenths. 31 eighteenths. Well, if we take 18 and stick them all together, that'll make another pizza, won't it? So we're going to end up with 11 and this one pizza, which takes 18. And we'll have to have a see what's left. So that was 31 bits, wasn't it? Take away the 18 that we used to make a whole pizza. 11 take away 8 is ooh, 13. 1. So and that gives us then 13 eighths left over. 11 and 1 is 2, 12. And so it's 12 and 13 eighteenths. We'll just check the answer. Yes. Um. It will come. It will come. Did anybody say this was easy? No, it's not. Did anybody say you'd get it first time? No, they didn't. And that's why, because... But just keep, keep going, keep going. Other people have already given up. But you're still here. You're a sticker. Remember that. And think, yeah, I'm not a giver-upper. Because you're not. See you soon.